jump on him. Welcome back to the homestead, everybody. We are sitting here in the greenhouse. We got the wood stove going behind me. And it's nice and warm in here. Hi, sweetie. It's probably about 30 degrees outside right now. It's warming up inside of here. We already had our morning meeting. Typically every morning on our work day, we have a meeting to talk about kind of what the, what the day looks like. So um, we got our day all laid out and we're almost ready to go here. So we sat around the table this morning and made a plan for the projects that we want to get done today. And there's snow on the ground, not much, but it's pretty cold out there. So one of the first things we need to do is take pictures of our piglets. They'll be seven weeks old tomorrow. We, we listed them last week, but we it's if anyone has pigs, you know how hard it is to take pictures of the pigs. So we're going to enlist the help of the kids and make sure we get some good pictures so we can post those. Remember, if you are interested in Cooney Coonies, we have a litter. Um, I mentioned in a couple previous videos. So if you're, if you're interested, contact us. Uh, our emails in the about section of our YouTube channel. You can check that out. Um, but yeah, we're going to be getting them rid of them in the next two They'll weeks. They'll be ready here. next weekend. So we we've got a wood stove in the house, and our wood rack is empty. We keep all of our um, chopped wood here in the greenhouse, and so one of the first projects we're going to do is move wood from the greenhouse to the front porch. And with five kids helping, it won't take any time at all. Yep. And then we've got a pile of wet wood in the garden. Um, that's just from limbs. Adam delimbed the entire property. Uh, a few months ago and so we still got some piles of wood so we're actually gonna chop that up into pieces that can go here to heat the greenhouse and so we're gonna break out the chainsaws or chainsaw and um, get that chopped and moved into the greenhouse to keep it a little bit drier because uh, our goal is to keep the wood stove going 24 7 so that'll make it a little easier if the wood's actually drying out one thing we do is we we keep the dogs in here at night uh our we have two outside dogs and uh, we keep them in here at night to keep them nice and warm. So that's another reason we light the wood stove and keep it running constantly. Um, of course the animals, but our, our animals don't really need it. Our dogs definitely need it. We have one that's a Rottweiler mix. And, she's um, a Rottweiler Australian Shepherd. Yeah. So she's long haired, but she but definitely she's, she gets cold really easily. So that's why we keep it going at night. So the last thing we're gonna be doing is building like a hay rack. So uh, we have these bales of alfalfa hay over here and uh basically all you do is build a, a assembly so you can take that whole bale throw it inside of it and the pigs can kind of get their snout through and pick the hay out of there so that it didn't get all messed up and like it is now so this hay over here is for their bedding primarily they do eat on it um, but the main thing it's for is their bedding so we're going to be potentially building a hay rack so let's go ahead and get started with our day and uh, get the kids to work here. So anyway, the kids are gonna be working their batukases off today, helping us out. And uh, they're gonna be extremely happy about it, right? Yes. Are you happy about working? <laughs> I'm happy about working because it's fun. Are you happy about working once? Sure. This pot. <laughs> are you happy about working with this? this <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of there. Are you happy about working, Story? <laughs> Walker, are you happy about working? All right, so good news. We have life in our greenhouse inside of our greenhouse. So Adam let me know just yesterday some sprouts have come up. Let's check it out. That's good, just this side. There's nothing at all in here? No. So what do we have going? Looks like right here. So we got a sprout there. One little baby coming up. Oh, two. A sprout there. Oh, it was just like, is that another one? No. Oh. <laughs> Sprout there. Yeah, beets. We got two beets coming up. Beets yeah, back here. Yeah, I do. Oh. 45 oh, degrees in here. Huh? There's little funguses growing. Yeah, I don't like that. It's probably from the poo. Oh, sprout, sprout, sprout. Sprouts. What's that? Yes, this is our lettuces. Lettuces. Oh, on. it's arugula. <laughs> Yep, there's lots of arugula coming up. Yeah. All right, so this is our seven day update from planting these seeds last week and we have radishes sprouting up, beets and arugula. So next Sunday, we'll check back in and let you know how it's going. We, uh, we had someone, we posted a post on Instagram. We had someone reach out to us from Southern Missouri. Yes. Yeah, so a little bit different climate, um, different but 
Uh, yeah, they're in a different growing zone, but they said they grow in the greenhouse in the winter and their yeah, stuff does great. So we have no doubt that these things are going to do good as long as our soil's good and as long as we take care of them, um, they're going to do great. First things first, since the weather's changed, we need to get all of this wood right here, or a lot of this wood, and onto the front porch. We have a wood stove inside. We're going to be using wheelbarrow. Take it to the front steps. <laughs> Wood pile for our indoor fireplace, done. So now we're moving on to what? What are we doing now, babe? Um, the wet wood in the garden. Oh yeah, okay. We're gonna attack our wet wood pile and uh, get our wood together for our wood stove inside the greenhouse. With the hard work of the kids and my wife, we got the firewood that we're gonna be using for the wood stove inside the house over on this side. And then we stacked just the junky, well not junky wood, all wood's good wood. So this will all be used for this wood stove. And then obviously, like I said, I got a pile back there that we can use, but it's all cleaned up. Got that stacked and ready to go. And our pile is gone out here. We got a couple ones, a couple more I gotta cut. Get rid of that in the trash. And then that's going back to the burn pile. All right, so we went to the store, got some lumber, got some pallets. And we're gonna use these pallets to make our hay feeder. We don't know exactly how that's gonna get put together, but you'll see it get to put together and it'll be awesome. All right, boys, we gotta take these pallets and put them in the greenhouse, y'all ready? Bro, I'm getting scared. He's going to fight. Let me turn. Yeah, I know, right? Wes, this is so risky. Oh, I've done it. Lower yours down some, Wes. We're gonna get low to the ground. Keep going. Yeah, something like that. Does that look good, Does babe? it have to be tall? It does look good. What do you mean? It does. Uh, well, but they're just gonna get in that way. not be tall. They're just gonna get in that way. I, think, I feel like it needs to go just a little bit more. There's gonna be sides, huh? I feel like it needs to be a little bit more of a... Incline? Why? Uh, it's gonna just be further sit. away from their faces if we do that. We can still get in those bottom pieces and get in there. Just cut it there. You'll see. I guess once we attach it and then get the hand there. Candy. 
Wait, I gotta give Dad some space, okay? All right, folks. We got a we got a DIY hay feeder for pigs, not for goats. For pigs, we'll see how well this works. Well, let's see if they can get their heads to it. Too. Yeah. It looks, it looks like a heart. So All the got, pigs are scratching. They're gonna scratch their butts and stuff on it. That's why it needed the feet. I like the way it looks. Here, come get it. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. Lift the gate in before it takes you out. Alright. Can you get your butt off of this, Otis? You're not mine. Odie! Bernie. Can you get your mouth off in there? Your brain's got itchy butt. Chichi butt. I don't know that she can get in there. You should have to get it from the side. I need to cut this part yeah, off. We can pull some through the sides. And I think I need to do it this way. Why'd you put two in there? One on one side, one on the other. Cut the string. Oh, the piggies are loving it. Yeah, it's coming out the holes now. I think I need to cut those other pieces of wood. You know what I'm saying? Like this front one? Yeah, there's there's one on the other side. Why did you leave this bottom board? What board? bottom board? The bottom board that's across, running across. You get all the boards on top holding them together. Why do you need that bottom board? Yeah, I think I need to cut at least that center one for now. It's a hay feeder and a... Uh, butt scratcher. Butt scratcher. Watch out, babies. What do y'all guys think? Do you approve? If anything, you got something new to scratch your butts on. Alright guys, so a quick overview of everything we did. This is Hack Job City. So, if you want to do this quickly and get it done, you need two pallets, a couple extra random boards, um, then you need uh, a 2 by 4 and a half. And so all we did, like you saw in the video, you take the first pallet, or the two pallets, you cut off the bottom two or three boards so that you can connect down here. And then we just screwed all these bottoms together to create our V. I cut a hole out here in this board, cut one out here. Then once your V's done, then I attached a one by six, I think this is a one by six on the side, to kind of hold it together a little bit more. Also to hold that hay in, maybe we'll come back here and we'll do another one up top at the very top. But you know, it's for pigs, so they're not gonna be able to reach that high. Um, then your one by four or your two by fours on the sides is legs and everything we did here we just made up as we went along so i assume if you're watching this video that's probably what you're going to do as well um so worked out nicely uh otis our big our big male here say hi odie say hi he's probably going to rub his butt on these legs enough to where it's going to want to pop them out this way or pop them in this way so probably what we'll come back and do is attach a board from here to here here to here on every single leg so that we have a sturdy structure obviously as you can see the piglets love scratching their butts on it anything you can give to pigs that they can scratch on man they love it when we have them in the spring and the summer on the hill up here spring summer and fall on the hill they absolutely love to rub their butts on trees, 
on our beehives, on fences, whatever they can rub their butts on, they love it. So this is just another thing that they can rub their butts on here in the greenhouse. So they're gonna love it. If you're just watching our videos for the first time and you don't know much about us, we have Cooney Cooney pigs. Oh and Cooney Cooney pig, if you don't know anything about Cooney Cooney pigs, they eat alfalfa hay. And so our hope is to wean them off of sweet feed and corn which they absolutely love like any other animal. And uh, we want to get them eaten on the alfalfa hay because it's 10 times cheaper and ultimately it's better for them. Um, and if we start raising Cooney Coonies in the future to eat, then we don't want to be feeding them GMO, nasty, non-organic, sweet feeding corn. So anyway, that's another reason. We're learning as we go along. We haven't done any of this stuff before. We've never raised pigs before. This is our first uh, year raising pigs. So anyway, guys, that's the uh, culmination of the hay feeder. All right, guys, that's it for us for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for tracking with our journey, for watching our videos. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button and click the little notification bell to get all of our notifications and you will get notified for future videos when we release them. And we will see y'all in the next video.